But tonight we begin with new information in that fire that sent five children and a firefighter to the hospital. The flames broke out on Pembroke Avenue near McIntyre on the city's northwest side. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us how the father saved the children and put out the fire. A fire started inside this home behind me around nine this morning. It happened inside of a bedroom where four of the children were sleeping. Now we talked to the dad who rushed them out of the house. When I got out of bed, I noticed all the smoke. It's like, where's all the smoke coming from? Trayvon Robinson frantically looked for where the fire started, not realizing it was in the bedroom where four children were sleeping. I just opened up the kids door and I seen the smoke in the fire. Trayvon, his wife and four month old were in one room. In another room was a friend staying the night. Where the fire started was a room connected to another that's an add on. Four of the children were in both rooms when this mattress caught fire. Trayvon searched for the kids, getting them out and then calling 911. Three of the children were unconscious. We multiple EMSs. We have several children down. Reporting several children down, requesting multiple EMS units. They just kept shaking the baby like the baby wasn't didn't have no life or anything. So then that's when the um, fire trucks and all the firemen put the oxygen on the baby. Trayvon put the fire out by filling a trash can with water and pouring that on the mattress. His quick action helped save his children's lives and prevented the fire from spreading. No, that's not a rug. That's being a parent. That's what I was supposed to do. I'll die for any one of my kids. And Trayvon says his children are expected to survive this incident. We're told all five of the kids are in stable condition. Fire officials also tell us a firefighter suffered minor injuries, but is expected to be okay. In Northwest Detroit, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.